This is not a joke here. Oh, man. Wait for it. Oh, it goes a little quicker that third time around. Oh, we get to do it again. Yes, please. No, shoot. Okay, hang on. It's just that the, uh, it's action-y, which makes it interesting. <laughs> oh, a four-timer! I wasn't expecting that. Good grief, spider baby. Five times, folks. We gotta do this five times. Come on, we got this. Yeah! Woo! Kill it with fire? These bracelets hold incredible power. Please, I need water. Dude, I want Find your bracelet. some stasis water, and we can escape. I like your your bracelet. All right, hang on, folks. I'm just fixing my chat because my chat bot's back, which means I can see everyone now. Yay! Okay, here we go. Uh, yes, please. The art style is quite lovely. Uh, Amex Interactive's been known for that kind of... I don't know if it's comic booky feel, but it's kind of nice. The chat is back. Please, bring me some stasis water. Stasis water? I think the whole idea of burning it with fire is definitely a good idea. Let's see here. Fire acid? Yes, exactly. We need acid and fire. Okay, got it. Uh, the spider baby originates from... Ooh, that's a great question, Brandon. Anyone from the chat? What game did the spider baby originate from? Puppet show, indeed. I now have the golden sun. I bet this crystal is magical. These things always are. Wow, a little on the nose. So let's see what we got here. We've got, oh my goodness. Um, we can buy stuff. Spider pup at 16, I can't afford that one. So it looks like we get to spend our monies buying collectibles. Morph on the right. Thank you for shouting those out. Now let's have a look at our achievements here. Kind of interesting. I don't know what this is all about, but this pink thing in the middle. Is that pinkle? Okay, come on, Chad. Is that purple or is that pink? Or lavender? So I've got myself a golden sign. Let's go back out this way and see if there's a ch much to do out here. It's still kind of shiny here. I don't know why. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get in there. I don't know what stasis water is, but we're going to find out together. Oh, your husband works for a homeschooler software company? Yeah, I'd imagine they're going crazy right now. As a lover of purple, that is pink. Oh, Meg, I don't know. Fuchsia, there you go. Uh, so where are, we, oh, where are we putting the golden sun here? There's not much for me to do, is there? Found the morphing objects, two out of 27. Let's see what our map does. We haven't even looked at this. I see. We are here and their objective is here. So let's go ahead and put that. Ooh, there's our stasis water we were looking for. Absinthe, I don't, rum, these are all things that will get you drunk, I think. <laughs> A little bit of rum. We can celebrate after we save the game world. Wow, that is quite clever. I guess we're no celebrating right now, folks. It's too soon, too soon. Pinkle, exactly, Catherine, it's Pinkle. Kitty Kate, even watching, re-watching The Dark Parables. Some classics right there, for sure. When a bracelet is used, its magic drains the owner's vitality, so we develop stasis water to help. It comes in plain, strawberry, and mint flavors. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I would want, like, what plain, what's plain? Like, medicine flavor, or is it, like, chocolate or something? Hmm. All right, let's give him the Please stasis water. Bring me Oh no, oh wait, the cork is stuck. Yes, absinthe is if you want to lose your memories for two months. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go for a mint flavor, please. 
It looks like poison. Could be. Could be. So we need a corkscrew, folks. I don't think I've seen one yet. Strawberry and mint? It sounds like the dental fluoride stuff or whatever, you know? Like when you get your teeth polished. Oh, you like uh, Dark Parables and Grim Tales? Yeah, those are two classic series, no doubt about it. Okay, how am I supposed to open this? Oh, you watched Drawn Painted Tower? My goodness, that is an old one. Uh, I literally, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We want chai flavor. It's gotta be back inside somewhere. If I was a corkscrew, where would I be? The door leads to the cemetery of eternity. I need to find some items. That's the one thing I miss about the office, is we had chai flavored tea. Ugh. It's in the meeting room on the red board? Really? Uh. Oh! Thank you! I didn't see that earlier, but you have saved the day. Thank you. Let's do this. Stasis water, go. Gonna go Please, here. bring me some. Yeah, 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 I got it, buddy, I got Thank it. you, my friend. That masked man will return for my bracelet. We must be ready for him. Okay, Dupin. Ooh, glitter in the scene, love it. Four of us who hold the bracelets meet around the table once a year to recharge them from this crystal. That's the only way to maintain the power that keeps the worlds within their boundaries. Okay, we need to find five crystals, folks. Assume it's these things? Oh, wait. Um... Oh, I see right here. They're like blended in. One more to go. Very intricate here. I'm assuming we're gonna have to find roses next. Each bracelet is bound to its holder forever. They're impossible to remove. So if the man in the mask possesses the other three, that means that their keepers are indeed dead and only their ghosts will appear at the table. Wow, it's kind of dark. Death in a hidden object game is not common, that's for sure. The Cardinal is from Hunted Legends World. The Master of Puppets is from the Puppet Show World. And the last is... Wait a minute. If we could return to the moment of their deaths, we could change the course of events. We should ask death for help at the Cemetery of Eternity. I'm uh, taking notes here on my notepad. So Haunted Legends is the Cardinal. Master of Puppets is Puppet Show. Got him, yep, yeah, Master. Uh, wait, who is the last guy? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I killed the protagonist? Wait. He did. Swiftly. Cleanly. I now have a skull. Thank you very much. This is the passage to the Cemetery of Eternity. But we need to activate it first. Are these like the uh, skull from uh, uh, Grim Tales? Is this dad? Okay, we have a phoenix. Let's go ahead and phoenix up the place. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Hmm. Hard. Casual. Hard. Casual. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh. How does this work? Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Never mind, this is actually harder than I thought. Wow. Interesting puzzle, actually. Like, just the geometry of it makes it interesting. Oh, we got some lovely music here. Oh, I see. No, that's not what I meant to do. Huh. Clever. So let me think about this for a second. Okay, so I gotta do this one first. That one second. And that one. This is kind of neat. I like this puzzle. No spoilers from the Puppet Show series. Fair enough. Oh, I can't do that one. Well, let's do this one. And, hmm. I think we'll do this. And then we'll do that. Let's see if this is working out for us. It's all in like, oh, see this one's bad. Do this first. Cool puzzle, I like this puzzle. More of these, please. I have never seen anything like this. That was neat. You had to do it in the right order, but you could reverse it and it didn't reset. That was good. Next time we'll do the hard. Wayward Vagabond, you want to do the hard version next time? <laughs> Pepin, what are you looking at, buddy? Where did I see notes about the gate? What's the worst game I've ever played? Oh, man. I talked about this a few weeks ago. Like, worst, like, actual video game, I would say, is Alone in the Dark. But in terms of Hopas, uh, I couldn't even tell you. Okay, I have a lard. Oh, and maybe he needs a lighter. No, he does not. So I've got, I don't think I can place these skulls. No, I need all three of them here. Let's see, we need that. Owners of stasis bracelets, I've sealed the passage to the cemetery of eternity to outsiders, but the gate will open if you prove yourself. Check our books if needed. Dupin has a bracelet, so we should be able to open the passageway. So we've got the rest of this code here. And it looks like we need that one and that one. Oh, I see. Now we got to continue here. Got all of the nice... What is this? Greek alphabet? Stasis bracelets are bound to their owners and impossible to revive. Oh, remove. The passages they open are brief, but still take a toll. The most reliable of our allies is death itself in the Cemetery of Eternity. The bracelet's strength varies, so the portal to the cemetery was opened permanently. Alright, Silver Guts, thank you for stopping by today. Ooh, there's our folks here. The five amigos. The more portals open between worlds, the more rifts will appear. If the number of rifts reaches a critical point, the worlds will fuse. Very nice. Three skulls, please. Let's see what happens when we slap them over here. I'm not sure who that girl was in the back, Jules. I don't know. I found the code to open the passage to the cemetery, but I can't solve it. Can you take a look? Hmm. I played uh, Alone in the Dark on the Xbox 360. I don't even know which one it was. The one where you had to do like a car chase. It was brutal. I found the code. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Give me that code. Ooh, it's a puzzle. There was a girl in the back. I'm not sure if she was the mother of the puppets. Was she uh, like a lady in the puppet shows, maybe? Hmm. The first sign is a symbol of the dark times. A sharp mind and a bearer of news. Wait. Dark times? Sharp mind? No. Sharp mind? Okay, I guess we're gonna just... What would be a sharp mind? I don't even... There. The second is a symbol of weaving in the structure of traps. The third is a symbol of fertility and harvest. 
Okay, so what am I missing here? Hourglass. That's not an hourglass? <laughs> Come on. The spider? Really? Oh my goodness. Hello. Spider makes more sense now. Thank you, chat. I'm pretty sure this is the sickle is this one. Way to go, Scott. Thank you. Ooh, that's quite the uh, innovation here. This really is a game world exciting. Oh, exiting the house leads directly to a cemetery. 